What is up guys? So it's been a minute since I've done a Q&A session for y'all. Lots, and I mean lots, has changed since then. So um, as you can maybe tell from the background, for those who haven't followed me here recently, I guess, or had saw my previous Q&A video from like two years ago. Um, yeah, lots has changed. So I'm in my shop. Yay. I'm on my little swivel chair. So I'm just kind of chilling, hanging out, trying to film this video for y'all before I go to bed because it is currently 1.30 on a Friday night. And, you know, I would rather be in here talking to y'all than doing anything else. So here we are. So I'm just going to kind of do almost like the same top 10 questions that I had in the last video, but change a couple here and there. So like the main ones that I need to update, I will kind of elaborate on that as well as just kind of give y'all like some insight into what's been going on for like the last two years. Cause the last time I did a video, I was in a rental house on the other side of town from where I'm li where I live at. And now I own a house and a shop and oh my gosh, there's a giant grasshopper that my dog just sniffed and it almost jumped on me and I almost had a heart attack. So it's over there, Chapel. Go get it. It's over there. He's not the brightest. It's over there. It's not by me. Dingus. It's over there. Okay, you're hopeless. Anyways. So, yeah. Um, what was I talking about? So, question one. What's going on with Cece? That seems to be the biggest question, obviously, that everyone wants to know. Um, so from the last update, I don't even know what was on that other video. <laughs> Sorry, he's just like chasing this grasshopper now. I don't know if y'all want to watch. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But anyways, I'm... <laughs> Get a chapel. Get the grasshopper. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get a <it>, chapel. <laughs> okay, wait. Y'all gotta watch this. Get the grasshopper. Get it. Get the grasshopper. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it was funny because he's like acting like a cat. But anyways, so what is the deal with Cece? So I had the frame slash chassis, all of that, taken up to Ohio so that Dalton from Dude's Fab Shop could do the custom four link air ride lift kit on her. So that was done and I picked that up after UCC in June of this year. And now it's sitting in Fort Worth for Zach to be able to powder coat um, Breton Creek custom. So they will be doing the powder coating on her and then uh, Lacey Blair did the powder coating on the engine block and the brand new head that I had gotten for the 12 valve. And that rebuild should be happening after SEMA. I don't really have anything planned on working on her until after SEMA because I have two Jeeps in my tow rig that all need stuff done before then. And it is already the end of August. So SEMA crunch is real and I don't want to overload myself by trying to fit in CC working on with all of that. So yes, as far as the update goes, that's kind of where I'm at with that. The body is in New Mexico at the body shop. The chassis is in Fort Worth and then the block and the head are here in my shop which are on the other side of the Jeep so that's the CC update um second question the Jeeps are not mine I did not buy any Jeeps 
the gladiator belongs to my boyfriend and JL belongs to my parents. So how that all happened was I am a Mopar Dodge girl through and through. Like I never had a Jeep. So when I met my boyfriend, he was huge into Jeeps. That's all he ever owned was Jeeps. So um, when he bought the Gladiator, I looked at it and I was like, please let me do something to this because I'm sorry, but stock Gladiators are just... Ugh. So... He agreed, and I was like, okay, hallelujah, let's at least put a lift kit and tires on it, like, just to save, save me right now. So we put a three-inch lift kit on it, and then, like, 37s, and we rolled around on that for a good long while. And then around June, I was like, hey, is it cool if we build it for SEMA? And he was like sure why not so i'm like okay hell yeah let's do it so then we started the whole process of the build managing side of it that i this is the first ever build i ever built i ever build managed and i ever brought to sema so being a first time for all of those things was quite a, a journey we'll just say that there was a lot of ups and downs, pros and cons, and you really learn who is real and genuine and who is not as real and genuine. And, and especially companies that believe in you and believe in your goals and not just see you as a female and write you off as a model that's stupid from the very get-go i wanted my social media to be i'm a mechanic that is a female just because i take photos and put them on instagram doesn't make me a model i want to be a role model not an ig model so I hope that was kind of um, solidified the, over the last like two years because I started doing less and less like photo shoot type stuff and more and more of showcasing my abilities to kind of, I guess, prove myself in a way because a lot of people just are so fast to judge and really quick to talk and just, anyways, that's just what the world is like so unfortunately that sucks but it is what it is and you live and learn and you move on so I don't remember what question two was it was someone who, oh I don't own any of the jeeps a lot of people ask me that I do not own them and since I had already said that they're my boyfriends that's moving into question number three when I last did my video yes I was single that was like two years ago and now I am very, 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 very happily taken. Okay, thank you very much. He is wonderful. Uh, he actually lives in New Mexico, so I only get to see him on the weekends, which kind of sucks. But it's only an hour and a half drive, so he makes a drive every weekend to come here and help me in the shop with anything I need help with and just see me so my family loves him I love his family it is just wonderful all over wonderful so there's that subject that seems to be a big one that people want to know which I think is so weird and irrelevant quite frankly but I guess it is what it is so that would be number three number four when did I make the switch from working at the dealership to being kind of on my own? So all of that kind of went down last April. Has it been a year already? Wow, time flies. So was it last year or was it the year before? 
Golly, I don't remember now. I feel like it was the year before. But I don't remember. Any time. Anyways, I know it was April 1st because when I had posted it, it was on April Fool's Day and everyone thought it was a huge joke. And then come April 2nd, I still wasn't at the dealership. And so they were like, oh, oh, wait, you're not kidding. You're being serious. And I'm like, yes, I'm serious. But the best part was when after going to shows and doing all of the thing for like a year, I still got asked, wait, you don't work at the dealership anymore? No, bro, I haven't worked there in like over a year. I've been on my own. I've had my own shop. Like I've been traveling all over the country. Like I've been doing Jeep stuff. Like what? Where have you been? But yeah, I do enjoy and miss working on big rigs i'm not gonna lie that will always have a special place in my heart because that's where i guess my roots you could say were planted was in big rigs but it is what it is and life goes on and eventually i'm sure i'll be having big rigs again but for now we got to start small to be big so we're kind of working from jeeps and then we're getting into the like the trucks the pickups you know okay and then we'll go to the grand scale of heavy duty again. So it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, so I think I was number four. Number five, am I taking customer build yet? Yes, it depends. So it's like such a hard topic right now because I had just got done saying that I kind of reserved the next couple of weeks to get the builds ready for SEMA. So it's kind of like yes and no. Depending on what you're wanting done, yes, we can totally do it. Just let me know. Please reach out to me on either my builds page or preferably my builds page, but you can um, find me on Facebook as well or just drop a comment down here and then I'll try to figure out contact info. But yes, we are taking customer bills. We do lift kit, suspension, lighting, you name it, whatever wraps, vinyl wraps, um, pretty much anything and everything I've done to the Jeep and the, the Jeeps and the truck is what I offer. So um, we're not doing really a lot of performance side of stuff. I don't want to tear into internals of engines because that's a huge liability. And so I don't want to deal with none of that. So most of it is cosmetic, customization, stuff like that. So, um, and along with an answer, yes, we are taking clients. Um, as far as when and what it is, that is a private conversation between me and whoever wants their truck built. So I think that was number five. Was that number five? Yes, I think so. So now we're on six. <sighs> Trying to think what other questions y'all had. Um, I'm having a brain fart. I don't know what other questions there were at Chapel. We'll just have this one be a five question one, okay? And then if y'all have any more questions or need me to elaborate on anything, y'all can drop the comments or the questions in the comments and I'll make a part two, I guess. Because I'm drawing a blank and it is now 10 till two in the morning and I still need a shower because I'm disgusting from the gym and everything else, so. Yay. But anyways, that's kind of like uh, the life to up update since my last video. I bought a house. I have a shop. I have a boyfriend. I have a fourth gen. Soon to have a custom trailer to match it. Ooh, Diamond C. I'm stoked. Um, CC's getting stuff done to it. I don't know if I ever mentioned that I had bought my 59 Power Wagon. I think there's a video on here about that. Her name is Cyan. 59 Power Wagon. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a video on here about that. But maybe I should do a little, like, tour 
video of her too. She's also on the list for next year to have running. There's a 318 in it now, but you know me, gotta put a Cummins in it, so we'll work on that down the road. And then I also have a second gen dually that I had bought for a tow rig, ended up buying a fourth gen instead, so now I'm just trying to sell that because I got too much going on. Right now at the shop, we have three Jeeps, one, two, three, three Dodges, and then parts of CC. And then we also have my daily, which is my Camaro. And uh, I think that's everything. So yeah, I have a parking lot as a driveway. So that's why we need a downsize, but Chapo says hi. This is Chapo. I'm sure y'all remember Chapo. He likes to chase flies. Get it. Get the, get it. Did you ever get your your little Scooby-Doo? Did you ever get it? You like that grasshopper. That grasshopper was a, a fun toy. He's a good shop dog. He's pretty chill. You're pretty chill, Bubba's. I love you. He's like, Mom. Ugh. He's like, Mom, can we please go inside and cuddle now? He's a very cuddly dog. Okay. All right, YouTube. Toodle doodle. Sayonara. Until next time.